And then the fantastic set of the foot to the left with uh, our fantastic title sponsor as well, Julius Bar. But on top of that, it's been a fantastic week formally with the announcement that we will have Jaguar in the series uh, for season three. Can you just tell us how big an announcement for formally that is? Well, yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, the very happy to be here back in Punta del Este. I want first of all to thank Julius Baer, our title sponsor uh, for this race in Punta del Este, and also our global uh, partner of the championship uh, of Formula E, um, to again uh, be part of this uh, event here. Uh, and I even think we are going to manage to paint the hand in blue, which is quite extraordinary. So, um, you know, thank you to Julius Baer again for to, to be uh, one more time, you know, as we always are. Uh, very close in partnership with, uh, with Formula A. And yes, it's been a, a very good week. Of course, the first reason why it's a very good week is because we are here in Punta del Este. We love to be in Punta del Este. We had an amazing race last year. We hope to have another one this year. And then also uh, because we uh, announced uh, a new um, team uh, in the beginning of the week. As all of you know, we have said goodbye to uh, Trulli, to Jarno Trulli, who I want to thank from, from uh, in this opportunity for, you know, joining the championship very early on, helping us in the development of the championship. Jarno has been a fantastic contribution to the championship, but sometimes in motorsport there are good days and bad days, and they were not unfortunately able to manage to build uh, this uh, powertrain um, and to go through the tests of the FIA, so they had to um, unfortunately stop uh, uh, racing with us. But at the same time, that has been a good opportunity to make good space, because we only have 10 teams, we are limited to 10 teams, so we could make a space uh, an entrant like uh, Jaguar, and I think that's a major, major uh, addition to the championship. Um, Jaguar is going to be focusing only on Formula E, uh, and um, they, you know, it's the first time they come back to motorsport since they're away in Formula One. So I think uh, this is a, a really a sign of, uh, I would say, uh, the consolidation of Formula E as a platform to showcase the development of electric uh, uh, vehicles, which is what we want to be. So welcome. Um, to Jaguar uh, to the championship and um, before that, before they join, we have a few races to go, the first one here in Punta del Este. Thank you very much. And Marco, it was announced uh, very recently that uh, Julius Baer is continuing its involvement as the global partner of Formula E for another five years. And, uh, how important are the values that Formula E has for those that you share with Julius Baer? So first of all, um, I think we are really happy to be here the first time, the second time also in uh, Punta del Este uh, to be also um, uh, the title sponsor. But uh, the reason why we extend the contract, I think um, we are really happy after the first uh, season. Um, I think Alejandro and uh, his team have um, made really great job. I think it was not that easy to to, uh, for a startup project, completely a different uh, championship, but in the end it was really a success and for us it was, was important to extend the contract. So uh, for us uh, uh, important to be in the next five years, until 2019, the global uh, partner from Formula E. And then don't forget, for us very important is uh, the brand awareness around with, uh, with the partnership Formula E. And we share the same value, the same value in terms of innovation, sustainability, and pioneering spirit. All this is for us very important, and uh, we are looking forward to, to, to see in the next uh, year a great championship uh, and uh, also a grateful uh, Formula E partnership with uh, Julius Baer. Thank you very much. Eduardo, this is the second year in a row that Julius Baer is the title sponsor of this race. So just how important the market is your advice for Julius Baer? Do you learn Spanish, maybe? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Ye
result of our vision of the future of the motor industry. So we believe the motor industry is going to go in three directions. Electric, connected, and driverless. And obviously driverless is an area where uh, the industry and the OEMs are investing huge amounts of money to develop these systems. It will come a day not too far where you will park your, you will go to the movies, just leave your car, your car will go and park itself. But it will come the day where, where the cars will just go around the cities without a driver. And uh, we think that to create a platform to showcase that technology is important. And we think Formula E, the Formula E environment and the Formula E ecosystem is the right place to showcase that driverless new technologies. This doesn't mean it's the end of motorsport with drivers. I don't think a driverless robot race is motorsport. I think a driverless motor robot race is a technology demonstration, a showcase, and a challenge for technology companies to put their best algorithms in those electronic brains of those cars to see which car drives better around the circuit without a driver. But it's not motorsport. We've been seeing humans racing each other since the Romans or before, and we will continue to see that. And Formula E is obviously the main race of our event. But having these robots around the track in the morning before the Formula E race, I think it's going to be a great complement, and it's definitely going in the direction where the industry is going. And again, shows that Formula E has this open mind and open vision for the future of the industry, and we are where the industry is going. So that's that's why I think it's very interesting to continue developing this race. We hope the first race will take place somewhere at the end of the uh, third season of Formula E, and from there continue developing this concept.